Welcome back to the short video tutorial series. Today I'm going to talk about how to use the four diffuse actors in Unreal Engine's blueprints. We start right there where we left off from our sound cue tutorial. And the first thing I want to do is I want to add a player. So let us go into our notes and create a new player. Let us select a player start and drag it into our scene. Let us also turn our player start so that he is looking at our sequence. Now that the player is looking into the right direction, let us go to our content folder and let us create a new folder. We are going to call it blueprints. Now let us select our player and let us create a new blueprint. And let us save the players.blueprint in our blueprints folders. Let us save the blueprint and now let us go to our event graph. In this little tutorial I want to have our player be able to control the sequence and the audio playing in the background. I want to use the F key on our keyboard to manually pause and resume our sequence. The first thing I have to do is enable player control so that we have access to the F key during the rest of our blueprint. So let us create a new node by right clicking into our blueprint editor and let us search for enable input. Let us add the enable input node into our scene. Now let us select our event begin play and drag our execute file into the enable input. Now we need the player controller. So let us right click and search for get player controller. Let us add this node also in our scene and let us draw a line from return value to player controller. Now that we have enabled input for our player controller, we can start creating our little visual script. The first thing we want is our F key from our keyboard. So let us go right click and search for the F key. There it is. And I'm only interested in our pressed event to control our sequence. We have two states, but we only have one event, so in this turn let us create a flip-flop. This allows us to alternate between two states when we have one event. So let us drag and drop the pressed event to our flip-flop input. Now we want to use those two events in order to control our sound and our sequence. But we do not have our sequence inside of this graph. For this we need to create a new variable. So let us go to variables and create a new variable. Let us call it FDV actor and let us assign it to be an FDV actor. We want it to be an object reference. Now that we have assigned our object reference, we are also going to make this one public. Let us drag and drop this FDV actor into our scene and select Get FDV Actor. In order to find our 4 diffuse plugin nodes, we have to make sure that we have context sensitivity turned off. Now that context sensitivity is turned off, let us search FDV. This will show you all of the 4 diffuse nodes available to our editor. We are going to select the Pause 4 diffuse node and drag it into our scene. And we are also going to select the play for diffuse node and drag it into our scene. Now we want to assign our for diffuse actor to be the target of the for diffuse play and pause nodes. So let us draw a line to the target input of both of those nodes. I want to make state A of our flip flop to be our pause option and state B to be our play option. This little visual script will now control our 4 diffuse sequence. Now we need a similar visual script in order to control our audio cue. For that we need a second variable. We are going to call it audio and we want to make it our audio cue blueprint. So let us search for our sample 4 diffuse presenting Holosys audio cue blueprint and let us select it. Now that we have our audio as our variable, let us also make it public and let us drag it into our scene. We want to use the set pause node in order to control our audio. So let us right click into our editor and search for the set pause 
node and create it. The set post node is requiring an audio component. Since our audio is not actually an audio component, but has a child which is an audio component, we can make a line straight to the target. This will make a conversion between Sample 44 Certificate Audio Cube Blueprint and the audio component which is a part of this blueprint. Now that our audio component is linked up with the set post node, we want to make sure that both execution paths from our sequence go to the set post function. So let us drag and drop a line from our execution from pause and from play to the import execution from set pause. Lastly, we have to make sure that our audio is paused and resumed together with our sequence. Luckily for us, our flip-flop already has an output boolean value that we can put as an input to our pause value. So let us draw a line from our flip-flop is a value to the pause value from our set pause node. Now that our small visual script is complete, we can press compile and save it. All right. Now if we go to our player start blueprint, we can find the FTV actor and audio in our defaults tab. Let us assign the FTV actor and the audio from our scene. Now that the FTV actor and our audio cube blueprint are assigned, we can now save our scene and take a look at our results. If I now press the F button, you can see our sequence and our audio has paused. If I now press the F button again, our sequence and audio resumes. I hope this small tutorial was helpful on getting you started on Unreal Engine Blueprints and 4 Diffuse Actors. If you have further questions regarding our Unreal Engine plugin or our holographic capturing system Holosys, Feel free to contact us on our website www.fordiffuse.com